Yo guys, what is up? Joe here, aka Mr. Spitz, and uh, today guys, we're, uh, we're flying on around this world, just uh, just picked out a lovely uh, lovely little spot by this beautiful little pond here, and, uh, and today guys, what we're going to be doing is something a little bit different. Uh, we're going to be doing creative series, and this was something that someone suggested, like, maybe a few weeks ago, that's, uh, that's the kind of what I'm thinking, yeah, I think it was a few weeks ago, in a video somewhere that I put out, but uh, yeah, I thought it was a pretty good idea to start a creative series, because I mean... Building is what I love to do in Minecraft. That's uh, like I wouldn't necessarily say that you know I'm I'm a good builder, you know what I mean? But uh, it's something that I really enjoy. It's something that I would consider myself in Minecraft because I like it. So uh, deal with that shit. But uh, yeah, today guys, I am feeling a little bit ill, so uh, bear with me. But uh, to be honest, let's just get started. I'm uh, actually, you know, what, to tell you what, right? I'll uh, I'll go through you guys. I'll go through you guys. I'll go through you guys. I'm a bit of a badass. No, I'll uh, I'll go through it with you guys. What I'm gonna be making, so. Basically, what I'm going to be starting off is kind of something something fairly simple, so just kind of, I'm going to go for you, rustic, kind of, maybe Viking-esque, I, I don't know, you guys can judge for yourself what it looks like, but uh, I, I don't know, it's basically just going to be kind of a log cottage, so uh, basically, you know, you're starting off in Minecraft, you know, you haven't really got, uh, got the right idea of uh, where you want to go with things, so uh, basically, I'm just going to pick out a few of the things that I want to use. Uh, what do I want? I want uh, some stone brick stairs. Uh, let's see. I want uh, you no know, jungle wood. We want a bit of spruce, maybe a bit of oak. But there's no oak here. Oh yeah, guys, I'm using the texture pack as well because because uh, I want to use the texture pack. This is John Smith's, by the way, and uh, I just got this for. Um, oh, we need some decorations as well. We need some fences, some fancy poos. Uh, and to be honest, we can get started like that. And, um, yeah, I'm using the texture pack, so John Smith. Uh, the medieval builds, they look pretty effing awesome in the uh, John Smith texture pack. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure if we'll get this whole thing done this episode, but, uh, you know, we'll certainly uh, we'll certainly try. And, uh, okay, guys, we've, we've made a start. And, uh, and the way you kind of want to work things out when you start building is, I know I'm kind of dawdling here, but uh, you kind of you kind of just want to take things slow, you know, get... Uh, Get the right idea, get a feel for the uh, kind of dimensions you want your house to be. I tend to work in odd numbers, I find that works out the best for me. Uh, for you it might be different, I, I I don't know, to be honest, uh, to be honest, you know, like things, things, you know, my build might look shit compared to, uh, compared to your build, but, uh, you know, it's, it's all opinion, it's all opinion, it's, uh, it's what you guys think, uh, is best, you know what I mean, at the end of the day, so, uh, this is pretty much just to give you guys a little bit of inspiration. Uh, damn, I'm not sure how wide I want this. To be honest, I just want... I don't want it too wide. I don't want it too wide. Um, yeah, because to be honest, with these medieval builds, you kind of want to keep them kind of rectangle-ish dimensions. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go for the whole rustic look. So, a few of the shapes um, aren't going to be symmetrical. They're going to be kind of, you know, iggledy-piggledy, for lack of a better word. But, uh, yeah, so uh, we're just starting off here with a bit of spruce. And the reason I'm using spruce... Um, if you guys are wondering is what the hell did it oh that's fine but uh, the reason I'm using spruce is because um, the darker colors they tend to go really well 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 they get to, they tend to go really well they tend to go really well with the uh, with the whole rustic look so basically what I'm doing here is I'm kind of just laying out kind of the framework uh, I'm gonna leave these bits because I'm gonna kind of uh, the side bits because I'm gonna kind of do them a little bit more Kind of acre to pickle day, so uh, yeah, I uh, do not want that there. But uh, yeah, so we made a start. Episode one finished. No, 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 no. Um, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Yeah. So basically, I tend to work in threes. So you see, there's a three by three square. They tend to, uh, I think they tend to look the best um, in terms of walls and stuff. And uh, we're definitely gonna be adding a lot of texture to this build. That's something I really like to do. When uh, when I'm building, I'll show you guys what I mean in just a second. Well, I'll show you now. So basically, I mean, we'll test this out to see what looks better. But to be fair, I uh, I will tell you which one I prefer in a second. Let me just let me just pop those down. So I know you could argue that this one looks pretty damn good. You know, it, it, it's you know it's got the contrast there. You got the light grays with the dark spruce. But uh, to be honest, I really do like adding texture to my build. And the thing is, I know you think, wow, that's a little bit over the top, Joe. But I mean, just add a few fences, magical, just magical. And uh, honestly, 
I think it looks good if you have like that kind of texture feel running throughout your build. Um, I'm not a big fan of uh, flat walls, so uh, yeah, that's a it's a fetish. No, but uh, yeah, that's kind of uh, that's kind of the way I like to uh, structure things. And uh, definitely give me some feedback, guys. Tell me if you like this series. Uh, if you want to see more, um, I would wait until this build's finished because uh, I I think I mean I've tested a few ideas. This is kind of a little bit you know makeshift you know I'm not entirely sure it's gonna be a little bit of trial and error and that's all it is with builds just trial and error guys so uh, just take your time try things out and you know they'll work out in the end and uh, the thing is with builds like I wouldn't worry about them too much until the end like you may think oh damn getting frustrated yeah it's not working out but like to be honest like I don't know a lot of builds they're gonna look a bit uh, I'm gonna leave this bit here because this is gonna be the entrance that's why I kind of had it a few blocks away from the pond so uh, I'll leave that for a minute I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna change that up in a bit but uh, yeah gorgeous just gorgeous but um, yeah you can kind of see it piecing together slowly ah oh, damn John Smith's texture pack the moon looks so beautiful um, I really like these foresty biomes I was kind of looking for one of these in the uh, in the, on the Arcadia server, and I run the Arcadia server. If you guys haven't checked out any of those episodes, then I would, I would strongly recommend it if you would like to. But uh, yeah, that's not what we're talking about today. But uh, yeah, guys, so uh, it's kind of coming together. Yeah, and I was just saying, yeah, don't worry about a build until you've got the final, final touches. I mean, the one thing you really need to think about in a build is like you have not probably added decorations till the very end. That's what I do. So once you add, I mean, you need to use this as a guide more or less. Like the decoration tab in creative, just have a look through, right? So you got fences, you got even lily pads, vines, uh, glass panes, all sorts, iron bars, uh, anvils. They can, oh man, they can all help you build out so much, like so much. Uh, I might work on these sides. Actually, I tell you what, we'll do. We'll uh, we'll go ahead. And stick the roof up first so uh, the way I kind of like to have roofs is I like to have peaks and overhangs so uh, again kind of playing on the whole uh, the whole kind of definition texture styly thing so uh, yeah I, that's what I kind of like to do I kind of like to have them overhanging and stuff I um, they're probably the most awkward part of the build especially in creative but uh, yeah we'll uh, we'll get this to well you know what I could uh, I could skip things but I'm not sure if I want to, you know what I mean? I think it would be cool to get uh, get these episodes out in big chunks. Like, uh, I'm a fan of editing. I like editing, but, like, I don't know. It is pretty nice sometimes just to have a nice 20-minute clip that just, you know, lasts the whole episode. Oh, God, it just feels so good when you're editing. But, uh, but yeah, so uh, if we just uh, we just stand back a little bit. Yeah, it's it's definitely coming together. It's definitely coming together. On these sides, I am I'm gonna place the logs, but I'm not gonna do them symmetrical like I've done it on this side. I'm gonna uh, kind of like uh, if you guys think about a barn. Well, here I tell you what, I'll uh, I'll start uh, I'll start placing some of these down. Uh, actually, nah, screw it, screw it, screw it. I'm gonna do the roof first, and then uh, and then we'll get on with that. Uh, and then also a thing that I like to do, uh, it, like kind of in addition to the hangovers, is like definitely I would recommend using uh, two materials. Two materials always, always wins. But uh, yeah, I mean definitely get the contrast between the two materials. Um, so yeah, like here using the dark spruce and uh, and light grays, never loses, never loses. Looks pretty sweet. I mean even in this texture pack, like you put a block down and it just looks sweet. Like ah man. Got a load of texture packs, and uh, I am actually in 1.6.2, but uh, I don't know. I managed to download some of the resource packs. I think uh, with the resource packs, I actually think they do transfer over a little bit easier to kind of snapshots and stuff, so hopefully that's cool. Uh, this one, I haven't noticed any other sounds, but uh, hopefully the uh, the the uh, the, blah, 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 the mod pack, the uh, the texture pack developers start adding sounds. Like, that would be... That would be freaking sweet. Like, uh, I don't know if they're gonna do that anytime soon, but uh, I don't know. That could be kind of cool. I know there's a few things that you can customize with the um, with the resource packs. Well, there's a, you know, there's a lot of things you can customize pretty much anything with the resource packs. So uh, I don't know. It's gonna be cool to see some of that uh, shizzle bizzle implemented in the future. Um, but yeah, I guess we're just gonna have to wait for a little bit. Uh, yeah, because I mean, 1.6 has just come out, so. You know, give them, you know, give them, give them some time. Give them some time. Uh, I don't know if you guys use texture packs. Let me know what you think about them. Um, I love, I love the texture packs. Hang on, if I just go into resource packs now. I've already got five texture packs. I love these guys. And uh, yeah, it's only been out for, uh, 1.6 has only been out for like, has it been out? Like two weeks? So, 
Yeah, I'll probably get this out tomorrow, hopefully. And I think uh, tomorrow's a Saturday. Oh, yeah, Saturday. And uh, I don't know about you guys, wherever you live across the world, but uh, over here, it's stifling. Stifling being extremely hot. Like, uh, well, it's uh, it's kind of crazy for the... Uh, I live in the north of England, and uh, it's kind of infamous for being pretty pretty damn cold over here. But uh, you know, we're rocking the whole 30, 30 degrees Celsius. So... Uh, it's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Uh, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Getting uh, getting my tan on. But uh, yeah. Anyway, back to the build. Back to the build. Um, so uh, I'll just kind of finish off this roof, and then we can kind of get on with the uh, with kind of the uh, the main body, so the sides and stuff. We'll get the outside done. And I guess I'll go on to uh, decorate it. Might have to do that in another episode. I'm not sure. Oh, check time. Check time. I don't know when I started this. I'm gonna go ahead and guess. This hasn't been that long. Maybe let's say, let's say 11 minutes 58 seconds to be precise. I'm gonna guess. So uh, if that's right, each and every one person that views this owes me owes me 10 pounds. So uh, never mind. No, you don't owe me 10 pounds. Don't feel obligated to give me 10 pounds. If you want to give me 10 pounds, you can give me 10 pounds. But uh, yeah. Anyway, guys. So uh, yeah, kind of finish off the roof. So uh, we can definitely get a feel for the whole uh, for the whole build and. Uh, Another thing I kind of like to implement with my builds is, i tell you what we'll do, we'll go ahead and get some slabbages, slabbages, so uh, we'll grab some of those and uh, and just kind of finish off the, uh, the kind of highlighting of the roof, and uh, and that's all this is, trying to just like, all the stone and stuff, just kind of like give the roof a little bit of a, a little bit of a highlight, and uh, and yeah, yeah, playing with the uh, fantasy feel, so uh, yeah, you want to definitely give to give your build the edge, like these little details help a lot, and uh, I'm, I'm gonna add more to this. Just give me a second, Amundo. I'm just trying to, uh, I'm just trying to think it through. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I've been playing with these lips a little bit uh, on on a test world, and uh, and there's something that I've been trying to get right, and uh, and they are quite difficult to do. So uh, you guys might want to follow this. This is uh, this is a pretty cool design that I came up with, and I'm, pr I'm pretty happy with it. I know it does look a little bit derpy. But uh, once you look at it from kind of like, because I know we're in creative now, and you, to be honest, with builds, you need to, hang on, let me just do this, but hang on, with builds, you need to just kind of, uh, kind of take, like, especially in creative, you need to take a step back, get down on the ground, and then just have a good look at your build um, from kind of the perspective that you would do in survival, because I mean, I imagine a lot of you guys, that's probably your aim at the end of the day to, uh, to build these builds in survival, I mean, that's definitely my aim, I know that for one thing, but uh, yeah, so I, I don't know, I don't know, that's just, uh, it's a little bit of advice, so don't don't put yourself down if you, you know, if it looks derpy from afar, no, if it looks derpy from a close, um, it's like any good piece of artwork, you need to uh, look at it from afar, but uh, yeah, it's kind of like that curvy look, I I don't know what you guys are thinking, you might, you might be thinking, Joe, what the hell, why have you given your build ears? But uh, <laughs> but uh, I, I don't know. It'll look cool once I get the uh, once I get the other details. And I think it's a pretty cool feature. But you know, again, it's just personal preference. You don't have to have these curly curly bits, these little frilly bits. But uh, I mean, you could just have these two stairs here, and then that would look equally good. You know, it's a bit more low key. But you know, that's not what I'm about on this channel. I am about all the high key stuff. So um, now that we finished that, we kind of got the kind of got the structure sorted. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish these side bits. And uh, and what actually you know what we'll do first just so uh, trust me trust me we need to do this first uh, we're just gonna add a beam in here and I mean I know it's Minecraft don't need to add beams to support the roof you dipshit but uh, to be honest like the more realistic I know this sounds a bit derpy it's a game but uh, the more realistic you make it look um, kind of the better it is gonna be for your eyes you know you kind of know what I mean like uh, like fuck it if you got a block here on a build and it is floating in the sky they tend to look a bit derpy unless you're going for the whole explosion effect and you've got loads of blocks flying out everywhere but that's what I mean you know you got loads of blocks flying out of everywhere you're trying to get the realistic effect you know that's I think that's what you want to go for a realistic effect each time and uh, and the, like to be honest like the way you get uh, the realistic effects is just by kind of uh, just by kind of getting inspiration from things that you've seen like in, all in all like a, a lot of things that I build is something that I've taken in for real life, you know what I mean? It's all about the experiences in life. But, uh, two seconds, I'm just trying to make sure this is uh, as random as possible. That's the kind of look that I'm going for here. 
an extremely random, erratic look. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad at all. Maybe one, no, one here. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Actually, we should probably take this one up one. Um, take this one down one. Maybe over here. Yeah, yeah. So, as you can see, I don't I know you think it, Joe, that looks like a piece of shit. But uh, you know, once you get the details in, and details are what counts, people. So uh, if I just uh, if I just throw some cobble behind all of these bits, uh, I'm derping around a little bit because it's far too hard for me to uh, to do anything in my life. But uh, oh, my PC is struggling. He is struggling. He's struggling hard. I actually had to shove my PC in the cupboard because that boy was uh, was far too noisy for my liking. But uh, yeah, if I just um, if I just do this, the thing is, I'm not talking a lot now because I have to kind of concentrate on randomization. And you shouldn't have to concentrate on randomization. It should be random. But uh, if we go over here, yeah, there we go. That's the look we're going for. So if we take take a little bit of a step back, we're kind of looking for the rustic barn feel on the sides. Like, to be honest, the sides aren't important. You know, that's not what we're going to have the entrance. We're going to have the entrance here. If we were going to have the entrance on the side, you know, it might be a bit more of a big deal. But, like, if you come around here, it's, like, it's pretty... I, I think that's pretty cool. I think it, it definitely goes with the whole rustic feel. I think that's a cool feature. And it's not what many people add to their builds as well. It's a bit unusual. So, like, I don't know. It's something you guys might uh, might want to take into account. Like, I do. I really like that kind of uh, really erratic, really weird kind of uh, style. I think it looks uh, I think it looks freaking cool. Um, and if that's over there, then I guess I'm going to have to, uh, I guess I'm going to have to bring that all the way around. Um... Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. And uh, we're going to add a little bit of detail underneath here. I think I'm probably going to go for oak. This is oak. And I, I and to be honest, I, I am still thinking about this build in terms of uh, default texture pack because I know that's what most people will use. So uh, we'll probably switch over to default once this uh, once this build is done. But uh, for now, we, uh, we're we good. We're good in the uh, in the whole John Smith's 32 by 32 texture pack. Looks good. Looks good. Um, this is probably the best texture pack ever. I mean, even modern builds are good in this. Like, I've been hopping on the Arcadia server, and uh, if you guys haven't seen it, I um my uh, my spawn house is uh it's it's kind of like a modern it's a modern looking it's a modern looking place. So uh, you know, you wouldn't expect the John Smith texture pack out of the mall to uh to be that appealing in terms of modern design. But uh, honestly, I don't know. I would recommend this texture pack for for anybody all day every day. This is looking, uh, this is looking pretty good, pretty random, pretty random, and that is what we like to hear here. Here, here. Let me just, uh, let me just concentrate on randomization. Yep, that's good, that's good. Don't overdo it. Don't do a checkerboard pattern. And uh, I know that's that's another piece of advice I could give you guys, right? Okay, so everyone says they claim the checkerboard pattern is one of the worst things you could do in terms of building, but. I don't think that's true in all cases. Like I have done that on the uh, in moderation, obviously in moderation. Don't use it for like your f your floor of your house every single time. But uh, yeah, you definitely pull it off once or twice, um, especially with certain builds. Like uh, if you take a look at some of my, I'll keep on flipping back to the Arcadia server, but that's what I got most content out on at the moment. So if you uh, if you flip back to that, I have done that with uh, one of the community builds. So I've done that with the. Uh, it's kind of like the nether hub in the overworld, so it's just kind of like a central point in spawn, like kind of town center. And uh, I've done that for some of the paths and stuff, and uh, honestly, it looks it looks pretty snazzy, pretty snazzy. Yep, we're liking this, we're liking this, and um, this is where the entrance is going to be. Whoa, derpy blocks, so uh, we can go ahead and knock that out. Whoa, what the hell's that behind? Oh, it's just birch. It sounded like a beacon to me, but uh, it's definitely coming together. I'm really liking this. I am really liking this.